all sisters, born of the same mother, the queen. The queen makes all these eggs from which different types of workers are born. All of them take care of the colony, dividing their work according to their size and specialization. Some attend to the larvae, some make tunnels, some build amazing structures. Some search for food, some cut leaves, some do housework and cleaning. These ants are called leaf cutter ants because they cut leaves with their very sharp teeth and carry them to their underground nest. There they grow fungus gardens where the fungus feeds on the crushed and processed leaves and the ants eat part of the fungus. <coughs> The fungus has been domesticated by these farming ants. They live in symbiosis, which means they depend on each other. There are different sizes of ants, but they all work together, communicating about the important things through gestures, touch, and pheromone trails which they leave behind. The large heads that you see contain the necessary muscles for the jaws with which they can lift up to 50 times their own weight. They also use their six feet which are sectioned and can help to hold and balance. The scientists at the lab studied the ant's behavior and analyzed the materials the strong and sharp teeth are made of. The teeth contain such minerals as zinc, for instance, which makes the teeth resistant to fracture. The teeth are very sharp in the young ant, but do lose their sharpness through use and the ant might change its work at that time and do a different task. There is always work to do. The scientists at the lab is going to take a sample from the nest and study the juvenile young ant through genetic analysis of the components of the teeth. Sometimes he gets bitten, but he loves the ants all the more. When the colony becomes too large, the queen lays special eggs that will turn out to be new queens, alongside with the drones, which are the males. They are both winged, and when they are ready, they fly off and have their nuptial mating flight. After the flight, the male dies and the young fertilized queen starts a new colony. She brings with herself a piece of the fungus and begins her own garden and kingdom. The queen lives around 20 years and her only job is to lay millions of eggs.